How are you doing guys? David Lewis, Biology Teacher at the Dublin Academy of Education and on today's Whiteboard Wednesday I'm going to give you an overview of the entire biology course. I'm going to show you some insights into the actual exam layout and so give you some tips and tricks to help you take advantage of what a lot of people perceive to be one of the longest courses on the Leading Cert. On the board here I have put down Unit 1, 2 and 3, every single thing that is actually on your course. First thing that probably jumps out to you is Unit 1 is quite a small unit with only three things and Unit 3 has a serious, serious amount. But I'm going to make you a little bit more comfortable with this if you just bear with me. Our exam, 100% of your grade comes down to 3 hours and 400 marks. You've been studying for 2 years for 3 hours. A little bit daunting. But if you look at the way the exam is laid out, it actually lends itself towards a student-friendly sort of approach. But a lot of people don't actually know this. It's broken into three sections. Section A is termed the short questions, where we've actually got two questions from Unit 1, two questions from Unit 2, and two questions from Unit 3. You only have to answer five out of six of those. And this is worth 25% of your grade. For Section B, we have 23 experiments. Again, there's a choice because there's only going to be three questions on your paper and you get to choose two of them. So there's only 23 and you get to choose two. We can also even nearly narrow it down when we look at the last couple of years papers. That's worth 15%. And then section C termed the long questions, but again, they're all short questions. As examiners, we're looking for key points, absolutely no essays. In fact, you'll actually, it'll actually annoy your examiner if you write a long answer, so please don't do that. There is one question from unit one, two questions from Unit 2 and three from Unit 3, but you get a choice here of four out of six. In fact, in the last two questions, there's even choice within those. So it's actually pretty fair if you look at it. Some, things, some students, again, because it's so big, they get, they get a little bit upset, but if you look at this, we've got two questions from Unit 1. That's going to be worth 15%. These experiments, again, another 15%. And this other question over here, another 15%. So that's 40 to 45% of your paper based around these three chapters, scientific method will take you around four minutes, and 23 experiments, which can be extremely shortened down. So again, if you look at that, if you study unit one and your experiments, you're going into the exam with knowing that you can get 40%, and everything from that is just a building block.